Did you know that there are several components that make up the hospitality industry? Stay tuned with me as I will share with all of you the things that make up the hospitality industry. Hospitality industry is important to all of us because it is a wide category of fields within the service industry that links businesses and services to customer satisfaction. It focuses on the development of a business, but the development of an individual as we have to spare our time committing and communicating effectively to our colleagues. I am credible to talk about the several components of the hospitality industry because I am majoring in hospitality management and I have research about this topic. Hospitality industry is essential to sustain the needs of consumers by providing better quality of services and to create more tourism demand by maintaining the liability of locals in the Philippines as tourist spots. In this presentation, I will be discussing the segments of the hospitality industry, the main types of restaurants, and the different types of food services. First, I will discuss the segments of the hospitality industry. According to Peter Novak, a marketing specialist in an article published on April 24, 2017, for hospitalitynet.org, an online resource for hospitality and hotel news. The hospitality industry is a multi-billion dollar industry that depends on the av availability of leisure time, disposable income, and complete customer satisfaction. Hospitality industry has four segments, which are food and beverages, travel and tourism, lodging, and recreation. First, food and be beverages is the largest segment of hospitality industry. It includes food facilities that prepare raw materials, served foods, and beverages in such places like cafes, restaurants, catering businesses, food manufacturing operations, and many more. Second, travel and tourism is a segment that, cons that concerns for people who travel from one place to another. It provides transportation services as well as vacation spots for travelers. Third, lodging is also a term for accommodation which is designed for people who stay away from home and need shelter for a night or more. Lodging businesses include places like hotels, motels, campgrounds, and more. Last is, recreation is activity of leisure that is done for enjoyment, rest, and relaxation. Businesses that provide entertainment that is essential to refresh a person's body and mind include places like museums, parks, zoos, movie theaters, and many more. Now that you, have, you know the segments of the hospitality industry, I will discuss the main types of restaurants. Restaurant is one of the hospitality units that consists facility, maintenance, and direct operations. According to Mike Heidelberg Berger, in an article published on January 15, 2019 for traveltips.usatoday.com, a daily use newspaper says the Philippines is a home to several high quality restaurants with 10 best offering indigenous hot cuisines, highly attract attentive personal service, a distinctive well manicured ambience, and recommendations from local experts in the know. Therefore, I will explain the five main types of restaurants which are family style, fine dining, fine fast casual, casual dining, and fast food restaurants. First, family style is a type of casual dining restaurant wherein food is served in a bigger dish on tables and customers can serve for themselves and for themselves and pass it to one another on the table. Oftentimes it involves moderate price and entries, table side service, and a great time for the whole family. Second, fine dining is also known as a, as formal dining restaurants. That is typically sophisticated, has unique decorations, and high-quality furniture. Dress code is an important detail because of a fancy setting. This kind of establishment offers full services and a specific dedicated meal, course that often cost more expensive than other restaurants. Third, fast casual is a subset restaurant that sits somewhere between fast food and casual dining. Its concept does not offer a full table service, but offer a better quality of food than fast food restaurants and a more inviting sit-down experience. 
Fourth, casual dining comprises a segment between fast casual and fine dining restaurant. They usually serve a larger portion size and often have, often have a bar. It offers a full service with a, comf- with a comfortable atmosphere and affordable priced menu. Last is fast food restaurants is the most familiar to most people. It is a quick service restaurant restaurant that serves pre-cooked foods and has minimal table service. It has simple furniture such as basic chairs and tables that is deliberately made to be uncomfortable so a customer will spend less time in the restaurant. Now that you know the main types of restaurants, I will be discussing the different types of food service. Food service is one of the most important elements in the hospitality industry because it contributes a great deal to the business profits. According to Magtibay de Luna et al., a bachelor's degree of science in business administration in the article published in Research Academy of Social Sciences in 2014, Service says service quality is valuable to achieve competitive advantage in the service-oriented world by distinguishing itself from the competitors. In fact, service quality as a notable input to customer satisfaction can be considered a driver of customer lifetime value. There are f- five types of food service, waiter service, Chinese banquet service, buffet service, self-service, and semi-service. First is, waiter service is also known as a sit-down service where waiters take the full responsibility to take and serve food to the customers. Next, Chinese banquet service is a form of waiter service wherein the waiter takes care of a group of 10 to 12 people. The food are usually pre-ordered and served communal. Third, Buffet service is a type of restaurant wherein customers take the full responsibility of serving their own food by choosing from a large scale of selection available. Oftentimes, servers behind the food selection and waiter serve the special request of the customer. Fourth would be self-service. It is a pay and pick-up process, usually a type of service in fast food establishments where the waiters stay behind every counter to take orders. Lastly, self-service, semi-self-service is also a pay and pick-up process, but customer has to wait up until the or- their order is ready. Finally, now that you know the types of food service, let's wrap up. In this presentation, I discussed about the different segments that make up the hospitality industry, the main types of restaurants, and the different types of food services. Hospitality industry is essential to maintain the needs of the consumers by providing better quality of services and to create more tourism demand by maintaining the liability of certain locals in the Philippines as tourist spots. Hope you take all these lessons with you and inspire you to be in the hospitality industry because it does not only impact the economic field but also your development as an individual who is a consumer of every business.